Zombies Chronicles 2. Something which every Zombies fan desperately wants and there's a new rumor which suggests that Zombie Chronicles 2 existed which was going to come to Black Ops 4 Zombies but on top of all that two more Chaos maps and two more Aoife maps were also going to be coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies in what would have been the most explosive finales for both of those stories. Now I am a little late on covering this you might have heard this already but I didn't want to cover this on April Fool's Day because no one would believe it and this isn't an April Fool's. Jumping straight into this I'm sure most of us will agree that it seemed like a second season of Black Ops 4 Zombies DLC was originally planned. I mean just take a look at how the chaos story ended with this cliffhanger on Ancient Evil. It's so clear that they were going to explain that. And further maps that we never saw. Listen to this wording that Jason Blundell describes all the way back just before the release of Ancient Evil in 2019 saying specifically that this map was the end of chaos story for this season. This map represents the uh, last map of the chaos story for this season. Mm -hmm. This is the last one of the chaos story for this season. For this season. For this season. For this season. You can see the emphasis there on the season makes it sound like there were plans for there to be a second season. I mean, if there wasn't, then he never would have said the words for this season. You can also look at the DLC Aoife maps and come to the conclusion that the story was wrapped up rather quickly and for a lot of us felt really rushed, which I'm sure wasn't Triarch's original intentions. Now, I'm sure all of you remember the Bombshell Kotaku article that dropped mid-2019, which said that Treyarch had taken over development of COD 2020 instead of Sledgehammer Games, and that became what we know as Black Ops Cold War. Because of the nature of how sudden they had to drop everything to start developing this game, and there are a lot of things which Black Ops 4 never saw. In this video, we can finally peel back the what-ifs for the DLC that got cancelled for Black Ops 4. Now, take everything that you're about to hear with a huge grain of salt, because this massive dump of information comes from a Twitter user called Hayden Prime, who a few days ago just unloaded a ton of insider information on what was planned for Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now again, we got to take this with a huge grain of salt because this has just come out of absolutely nowhere from someone who has no evidence to back up any of these claims. But from the looks of it, he just seems to be a normal person. None of his prior tweets to this information dump seem to indicate that he tries to tweet stuff out with the intention of getting attention. His Twitter account was created in August 2010, so it's not like he intentionally created this account just to post this information. It's a personal Twitter he's used for years. And in a tweet to Cod Zombies HQ, he says that he has been sitting on this info for years. But one important fact that I want you to be aware of whilst we go through all this is that he is clearly very knowledgeable on the zombie storyline, both Aoife and Chaos, aware of the characters, aware of how things were left, how Black Ops 4 Zombies was handled, and only a diehard fan would know some of the details that he goes on to mention. So he starts off by saying, as many know, Black Ops 4 Zombies was initially going to contain six Chaos story maps for year one and six Aoife story maps for year two. However, early on, it was decided that they split it half and half. Two Chaos maps, two Aoife maps at launch. Two Chaos maps, two Aoife maps as DLC. That's exactly what we got. Well, apparently they were going to continue that trend with Black Ops 4 Season 2. With that year two of DLC content giving the final two Chaos maps and two Aoife maps for a grand finale. However, Zombie Chronicles 2 was also planned with six reimagined slash remastered maps. As we all know, Treyarch was moved to work on what would be Cold War and this shift in production left the finale two Aoife maps of season one to be finished by a small team and the entirety of season two cancelled. So what were these cancelled Chaos and Aoife DLC maps? Well the first of the new Chaos maps was one that would follow Diego and a new ragtag crew trying to awaken Scarlet on the island of Antikythera. The island where a real world wonder was discovered, an ancient computer known as the Antikythera Mechanism. This is real history here, and the Antikythera Mechanism is an ancient Greek hand-powered orrery described as the oldest example of an analog computer used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. Now this sounds absolutely perfect for the Chaos story, and Antikythera is a Greek island lying on the edge of the Aegean Sea. It doesn't sound too far-fetched, seeing as Ancient Evil was also set in Greece. Second and final map to the Chaos Story for Chapter 1 is a bit of an oddity as it would have taken place at the Library of Alexandria but also Atlantis. Now the Library of Alexandria as a location doesn't sound far-fetched at all. A lot of us actually thought that was going to be next in the Chaos Storyline. This would have naturally been the next map because Medusa literally possesses Scarlet's mind in order to unlock and learn all of modern history based on Scarlet's knowledge 
and then proceeds to unlock the knowledge needed to find the library. And this library that she was looking for was the Library of Alexandria. And there's also a cipher in nine, which says the library must stay hidden. Putting two and two together, this just sounds absolutely perfect for a chaos map. Furthermore, we can see a actual relic of what would have been in one of these chaos maps in Black Ops 4's multiplayer with the Eye of Apophis melee weapon. This just screams chaos all over it and could easily have been the wonder weapon for one of the maps that we never got. There's no way that Treyarch went to design something so creative and Egyptian inspired just for a melee weapon in multiplayer. Player. There's no way. That's got to be from zombies. Finishing on the chaos information, he says he genuinely doesn't know how this would have played out, but he's sure Medusa would have been the final boss. Let me know your thoughts and all that if you're a fan of chaos and like me, you wanted to see it continue from what happened in Ancient Evil. But this is where things get really exciting. Aoife. As for the Aoife story, the first map would have been a reimagined Origins during the Battle of the Great War in 1299. Primus would wield the original staffs. Likely, an alternate ending could be unlocked with Pablo passing a message to Richtofen, allowing the events of Blood of the Dead to occur. Now, how realistic does this map sound to you? I'm not too sure. This would have been the Great War map that we all would have wanted and hoped to happen with the original versions of the staffs, because if you're not aware, in Origins, the staffs are copies that Max is created. The idea of this map alone sounds just incredibly hype. Like, if this happened, man, we would have lost our minds. Reimagining of Origins during the Great War. Like, wow, we actually could have played in the Great War. But we also need to consider that there's a chance that this information is just completely false. Definitely believe that we could have got a Great War map, but having a reimagine of Origins when it was already remastered in Chronicles, like, I don't think that would have happened. But the grand finale of the Aoife story, the final map, would have taken place in the Dark Aoife following Victus immediately after Targda Toten. It would have been similar to Origins with Samantha leading Victus through the Hell Escape, gathering help from allies from throughout the Aether story. These allies would have included Gersh, Maxis, Pablo, Peter McCain, the Mob of the Dead crew, possibly more. The map would have contained enemies from previous maps, but Monty and the Keepers would have been the primary threat. Likely would have ended with our allies joining Samantha in the New World. Now, wow, if that happened, it sounds like a Revelations not even 2.0, like a 5.0, we'd have all of these old characters included that would be helping us, which would in turn let Samantha help Victus leave the Dark Aether and enter the world that's Cold War Zombies. Imagine if that actually happened. We got the ending of Targda Totem where our favorite characters are killed off, Victus and everything sent to the Dark Aether as we know it in that ending, and then we waited a whole year to then play as Victus in the Dark Aether trying to escape. The idea of that map concept alone sounds incredible and another thing as well is this guy clearly knows his stuff if he is making this up like for real but let me know what you think of those ideas in the comments below i definitely feel there is some weight to the idea of that final ether map and helping victus out the dark ether as we have a telephone message from stulinger asking for richtof and to help him as there's somewhere which is dark cold, covered in roaches. It sounds exactly like the Dark Aether. And that has never been expanded on. Now, sure, we could get Chronicles in Cold War, which could include playing as Victus on those maps, and then it would explain it. But having that radio in the game there would explain a future event that we would experience. And as of now, we still haven't experienced it. What if that crumb was left there for the final Aether map that was just described? Let me know your thoughts. But then he goes on to talk about what Zombie Chronicles 2 would have looked like in Black Ops four containing six reimagined remastered Aoife maps including Diorite's remastered, Buried remastered, Five as a Faithful Remaster, Call of the Dead as a Faithful Remaster, Mob as a Faithful Remaster, and Transit as a reimagined expanded map. Now, if you were to ask me if I believe that, part of me would say yes. And the reason why is certain maps listed there have actually already had partial remasters that exist in Black Ops 4. Buried has had the entire underground section remastered in Blackout. Five, Call of the Dead, and Mob of the Dead as Faithful Remasters. Well, there's already complete reimaginings of those original maps on the game so I don't think there would be as much work needed to convert them into faithful remasters and then transit as a reimagined expanded map well we already have the entire diner recreated in blackout we also have the bus and the bus driver completely recreated in a multiplayer map so it's like some of the assets for these remasters 
if they existed, the assets themselves do exist. And what's crazy is he says some of the celebrities were in talks to reprise their roles, including Danny Trejo and Joe Pantoliano. Danny Trejo obviously played himself in Call of the Dead and Joe Pantoliano was one of the mobsters and Danny Trejo was already added into Blackout, so he already existed in Black Ops 4. The fact that Danny Trejo is actually in Black Ops 4, to me, just adds a little bit more weight that a Call of the Dead remaster might have actually happened. It was extremely random to suddenly have Danny Trejo appear as a character in Blackout and not see his character in Zombies where he originally came from. But he finalizes all this information saying how much of this will we see in the future. Unfortunately, he thinks the two Chaos maps and the Dark Aether map aren't ever going to resurface. Transit, Die Rise and Buried are inevitable. If Black Ops 2 gets a full remaster, the mob and Origins are also possible. But probably the least convincing part of all of this is the final tweet saying that all this info comes from a close friend who works at Treyarch and has for close to a decade. It sounds like a pretty cheap cop-out explanation and and if you believe it or not is entirely up to you but i do think some of the points that he makes does explain some of the various things that were left unexplained in both chaos and Efa storylines with the main thing being if activision didn't throw treyarch on last minute to create black ops cold war then we might have seen some of this content i don't know if we would have based on the popularity of black ops 4 but it's so clear from the reveal of black ops 4 zombies how ambitious treyarch were with zombies this time around and unfortunately with just all the issues that the game had at launch and then cutting its support a lot shorter. The overall impression people have on Black Ops 4 Zombies is probably a pretty lukewarm one. If it had all the extra year of DLC that has been explained in these tweets, then man, this game be received a lot better and be regarded as probably one of the greats. I do genuinely believe that Chronicles 2 was going to come to BO4 because again, there's just so much that exists from these maps already in that game. But I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below if you think any of this is legit or not. I guess we will never know if it is, but if Zombie Chronicles 2 existed in Black Ops 4, then that means that there is a decent chance that it exists for Cold War. But the million dollar question is, when are we going to see it? Will we ever see it? We just don't know, but I really hope we do. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like rating, subscribe for more Zombies news, and I'll catch you for another video soon.